When it comes to print on demand, there's not even a handful of companies that people actually know about and trust. Really, it boils down to the big three. So this video is gonna give you those three options, but I'm also gonna give you one of the best alternatives for your print on demand business. This alternative encompasses print on demand and a lot more. So if you wanna learn more about print on demand and some of the best websites to use along with the best website to use, then make sure you check out this video all the way through so you can get the most out of it. Let's go. All right, kicking things off, the first print on demand website that we're gonna cover is probably one of the most well-known ones, and that's Printful. Now on Printful, you're gonna find quite a lot of things. For one, you have easy store integration. So Printful is gonna easily integrate into almost any platform that you're selling on. The most common one though, of course, is gonna be Etsy. And with Etsy, it does have seamless integration. Aside from that though, you do have a lot of other features on here. So one of them being the product catalog. Now, one thing that's pretty cool about Printful is the fact that they actually offer embroidery. Now, what exactly is embroidery? Well, embroidery is pretty much stitching. So I'm pretty sure you've seen it before, but school uniforms, they have that little patch on the chest that's embroidered. So it's stitched on. But that's just a little extra feature. For the most part, print on demand is always gonna be printed items. Now, those printed goods are gonna come in the form of pretty much anything that you can think of. So Printful does have all of the most common items for print on demand, starting with different types of phone cases, book bags, fanny packs, bags, of course, clothing like t-shirts, hoodies, pants even, and a few other things like certain accessories and things for the house. Now Printful does ship to the US and it also ships to Europe. Now, one thing that a lot of users report about Printful and myself included, because I've used them in the past, that isn't exactly the best is going to be their pricing. So compared to some other print on demand suppliers, Printful is going to be a little bit more expensive. Now you can get those prices reduced a little bit, but you're going to have to have their premium service. Now, just to give you more or less of an idea of how much money you're going to save, it's honestly not that much unless you're really ordering in bulk but check this out so this backpack right this backpack goes for about $32.95 for the general public so we can get this at $32.95 customized to our liking then we can go ahead and sell it for maybe 50 or 60 dollars but if you have their premium subscription then you're going to be getting it for $30.20 let's look at the tote bag over here it's going to be almost the same thing in difference so it's going to be $15.25 for the general public but then for the people that have their subscription it's going to go down to 1415 so as you can see it's not necessarily a huge discount but if you have at a minimum at least 30 orders every single month then you are going to be able to start to offset that monthly subscription but if you don't then it's really not going to be worth getting the premium subscription just yet so Printful fulfills all of their items and they produce all of their items in-house now this next supplier that I'm going to talk about is a little bit different in that aspect so up next at number two we have Printify now with Printify, you can expect to have a ton of different printers that you're gonna have access to, but we'll get to that in just a second. So let's take a look at their website first. So as you can see, it's fairly similar to Printful. Printify and Printful are kind of the same thing at the end of the day, just a few different prices and a couple of different services. But for the most part, out of Printful and Printify, Printify is gonna be the one that's preferred more by most users. Now let's see a few of the differences. So for one, let's check out their catalog. Now their catalog is a little bit better organized. So as you can see, it has everything categorized fairly well. Let's go ahead and just click on the catalog home, see what we have to offer. All right, start here. So you have the high earning products. So right off the bat, they give you some of the products that are some of the top earners. Now, similar to Printful, Printify is going to have their premium subscription. So the premium subscription is going to get you a lot better prices than the free subscription that the general public has. Now, how much is that discount? Well, with Printify, it's actually a bit better. So as you can see, let's check out these pajama pants. They're selling for $29.37. And with the Printify Premium, you can get them for $22.62. Let's look at a few more things. You have a Jersey long sleeve shirt, and that's going for $15.24. And the premium is $11.74. So instead of just $1, more or less like Printful was offering, Printify actually gives you some pretty deeper discounts. Of course, it's not a huge difference when you have just a few different orders, but once you start to get into the hundreds, then this is really gonna to make a big difference. Now with Printify, one of the things that a lot of people have been reporting that they're not too fond of is going to be the learning curve. So the website itself or the platform itself is a little bit more complicated to use than let's say Printful, but 
it's not that hard to be honest with you. It's one of those that after you poke around a little bit, you're going to get used to it. It's just actually getting over that initial step of poking around and getting familiarized with it that things are going to start to get a little bit easier. But don't let that scare you away because honestly, it is very easy to use. Some people just don't like to poke around and learn the system. But if you take the time, if you take even just an hour or two just to just poke around and see how it works, you'll get it pretty well. Now, another thing that's really important that you need to watch out for when using Printify is the print supplier that you're going to be going with. So after you set everything up, after you create your print on demand item, after you create your mock-up, right before you go to list it on your site, you're going to get asked, who do you want to print this garment? That's when you have to choose from a huge list of different suppliers. All of those different suppliers are going to have different sizes, different colors, different styles, different brands. So this is something that you're really going to have to start to look into, and you're going to have to do a little bit of research onto the different types of suppliers that they're offering. So for the most part, you are going to have different reviews on there. So Printify is going to give you how many reviews they have and how many stars they have. But it's up to you to actually look through their different options to make sure that, let's say, supplier A, let's say they only offer shirts in black, white, red, and green. But supplier B offers them in a huge variety of colors. But supplier B doesn't have as good reviews as supplier A. So you're going to have to look at the different suppliers, check out the reviews, read the reviews, and outweigh the pros and cons. Now, there are some benefits to having these different types of suppliers. For one, if one doesn't have a particular item, you have the option to automatically reroute that order to a different print supplier. But doing this can sometimes cause a discrepancy in actual print quality. So supplier A might have way better quality than supplier B. Supplier B might have better quality in terms of the printing than supplier A might have. So my recommendation is try to order at least one sample from the different suppliers that you're going to be going with. So that way you can make sure that the quality is at least up to par. Now, the third option on this list is going to be Amazon Merch On Demand. Now, yes, Amazon does have its own print on demand business, but it's a little bit more complicated than it should be, at least in my opinion. So when it comes to Amazon Merch On Demand, the first thing that you need to do is apply. So you can't just sign up. You actually need to apply. You need to provide them with some information and then you need to wait to actually get approved. Now, the approval process can take up to two weeks and I've applied about three different times and I've gotten denied every single time. I'm going to keep applying to see if I can eventually get accepted, but it's been kind of hard for whatever reason. But a lot of people do report this. A lot of people do report having difficulties actually signing up and getting denied. Now, Amazon Merch On Demand is actually supposed to be super easy to use. I've seen tons of different video reviews on YouTube and getting started on it, uploading your products, creating your mockups is actually very simple, but it's just the approval process that gets very complicated sometimes. But aside from that, when it comes to Amazon Print On Demand, they also have a lot of restrictions, especially on the things that you can post. Now, when it comes to your typical print on demand, a lot of the times people don't know that a slogan could potentially be copyright. So let's say the term you're killing me smalls. That is from a movie called The Sandlot that is absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it, especially if you like baseball. But let's say any other print on demand supplier like Printful or Printify, if you didn't know that that was copyright and you put it on a shirt, they'd let you do it. A lot of slogans, people don't really know that they're copyright or a lot of sayings, people don't know that they're copyright. And a lot of the times it's okay to actually print them. The copyright holders for certain terms aren't going to do anything about it. Now, one like the one that I just mentioned that is actually from a movie that you can't get sued for, but I'm just using it as an example. But let's say Printify or Printful, for the most part, they're going to let you print out these different types of wordings. But Amazon is not going to do that. They do not play with that in the least. Anything that could resemble any brand or anything that's already copyright, trademarked, or anything that's out, Amazon's not going to play with that. They are going to go ahead and deny that listing or just take it down immediately. Now, Amazon does have quite a good amount of benefits to actually using the platform. For one, you have the fastest shipping possibly imaginable. You have access to Amazon Prime. So your items are going to be shipped with Amazon Prime. So you're pretty much going to be beating almost any other prints on demand supplier out there. But aside from that, you also have access to sample orders. Now, sample orders are pretty cool because you get access to your designs at a cheaper rate. And this is good because if you want to check out the quality, then you are going to be wanting to order samples. If you want to create your own content to be able to promote these, then you're going to want to order samples. And if you get them at a cheaper rate, even better. All right, so those were the top three print on demand suppliers that pretty much everyone knows about. But which is the alternative? Which one is the one that reigns supreme above them all? Well, none other than, you guessed it, AutoDS. 
Now, AutoDS isn't known for print on demand. We're known for drop shipping, but we have entered the print on demand game. And let me tell you that we entered that game strong. So we have a few different suppliers that we work with, all of which who have been vetted for guaranteed quality. So you're not going to have to worry about choosing this supplier or that supplier or which one ships to, I don't know, Europe, which one ships to just the US. We made everything super simple for you. If one supplier is out, then you don't even have to worry about that. Let's say you have a t-shirt and the printer runs out of, let's say the, the gray shirts. Well, you're not even going to know that they ran out because we have other suppliers that can immediately jump in and fulfill that order with the same quality. On top of that, we also have tons of different items that a lot of others do not offer. Check some of these out. So right now we are on our AutoDS platform on our dashboard. And if you're not on AutoDS just yet, if you're on the fence, if you've been thinking about trying it out, then right now is the time to try because you can start for two weeks for just $1. Now this is the dropshipping products. This is the marketplace, but let's click on over to print on demand. And here you're going to see all of the different products that we have to offer. Everything is laid out straight for you. So that way you can go ahead and choose what you need. Now to make things even simpler, anything that you see that just has the basic auto DS logo on it, that's something that you can customize and just put one print on it either in the front or in the back. So this long sleeve right here, let's go ahead and click into it. Let's actually customize it. So let's go to edit product. Now, as you can see right now, we have the pink one chosen or purplish. I don't know what color that is. If you know what color this is, whether it be pink or purple, just let me know down in the comments below. But let's say I don't want this one. Let's say I want to offer also a blue and a jean color. So we have, oh, sorry, green. And then we have this one, this is this jean color. So we have these different ones. Now I want to add my image. So let's go ahead and click on upload design. I'm going to go with this one right here in my hustler era. And that's all there's to it. As you can see, it's super simple to customize the designs. And if you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can just go ahead and click on drag and drop. And then if you have bad artwork or if your artwork is not up to par or if it's not of good quality, then this right here is actually going to tell you that it's not good and it's not going to accept it. So you need to have good artwork in order to have quality products. It's just something that goes hand in hand. Now, if you don't want it in the front, easy. Just go ahead and click back and upload whatever design you want on the back. Now, aside from that, though, if we keep scrolling down a little bit more, we're going to start to see these right here. They also have the AutoDS logo on it, but then you also have these little dashes and the beige color around the rest of it. This is something that no other print on demand supplier, Printify, Printful, Amazon Merch on Demand, they don't offer this. And this is all over printing. All over printing is something that's actually pretty unique to AutoDS. A lot of people, again, do not offer this. So what does this mean? This means that you're able to print on the entire garment. So let's take, for example, this hoodie right here. This is a kid's hoodie and pretty much you can print on the whole thing. So starting from the hood all the way to the top to the bottom of the sleeves, the bottom of the garment itself, the pockets, the back, the sides, everything is customizable. So if you want something that just resembles, I don't know, a monster, you can do that. You can create your hoodie into a monster. It's fantastic. Aside from that, though, there's also tons of other products that you can choose from. My personal favorite is always going to be this cloak right here because I actually have one myself, but then you you keep scrolling and you're going to find a few other unique ones like these pairs of shorts right here, some tank tops, some more cell phones, hats. This one's actually pretty cool. This is a magic mug. So pretty much what this is, is it's got your design on it, but it starts off as black. Once you put hot water into it or any hot liquid, it's going to reveal the design itself. That's why it's called a magic mug. It's pretty cool. And then you have a lot of the other more common items like let's say the tumblers, cell phones, masks, which some people still use masks and an auto sunshade. This one's actually pretty cool. This is a unique one, but let me show you my personal favorite. And that's going to be the footwear. So you have the option to completely customize shoes. I think this is absolutely amazing. And I have not seen any others that allow you to do this. Now, if you're not shipping in the U S if you're not selling in the U S let's say you're selling in Europe, then you have the option to also choose suppliers in Europe. Just go ahead and click on here where it says printed in EU. And you're going to have access to all of the same products, except with the ability to ship to Europe. Now with AutoDS, you also have the option to be able to integrate to a lot of other platforms. So with some of the other websites, you have the ability to only integrate with certain websites like Etsy. But with AutoDS, you have a lot more. You have the ability to integrate with Etsy. You can also integrate with Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and even Amazon itself as well. Along with that, you also get full order automation. So somebody places an order in your store and AutoDS is automatically going to fulfill that order for you and even include the tracking number for your customer and for the platform that you're selling on. So that way it's pretty much entirely hands off for you. You don't have to do absolutely anything. 
aside from, of course, creating different designs, adding them to products and just continue adding more products so you can continue scaling. Now, one of the biggest benefits to using AutoDS is the fact that you have access to two different business models. So under one platform, you have two businesses that you can start or at least a huge expansion of products. So aside from print on demand, of course, as we all know, AutoDS is known for dropshipping. So on top of all of these winning print on demand products, you also have access to thousands upon thousands upon hundreds of thousands of winning dropshipping products all of which have been proven to have market demand and are even trending right now. So you're pretty much getting two businesses in one. With this, you have the ability to either start a dropshipping store and a print on demand store, or start a business with both, incorporating both print on demand and dropshipping to have access to different products. So those were the best print on demand websites, along with the best print on demand website alternative. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this entire video. What do you think about print on demand? What do you think about Printify, Printful, Amazon, and AutoDS? Is print on demand something that you've been wanting to get into? Remember, if print on demand is something that you've been wanting to test out, then you can check out AutoDS right now. You have the option to gain access to our platform for just $1 for two weeks. So why not take advantage, see if you can make a couple bucks, and if you do, then just reinvest that money back into the platform so you can continue scaling. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you made it this far, then that means you obviously enjoyed the video. So if that's the case, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching once again, for making it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch y'all next time.